Hey, how's it going? Uh, we wanted to take some time today and really go through some of the shelters that we carry in the gear shop. Uh, as you guys get a chance to explore the gear shop, you'll see that we carry quite a few different options, uh, both traditional style tents and then also some floorless shelters that we have been getting more and more questions about. So today, we wanted to take some time and really run through uh, those options, uh, which are from Seek Outside, which is a company that we brought on uh, when we first opened up. We've been really excited. Uh, we've all used their tents, have a lot of good experience with these tents. We've had great luck with them. They've been really good for us in the back country. And we're gonna discuss some of the options that we have. This is the Seek Outside Red Cliff. So this is the largest uh, tent that we carry from Seek Outside. This is going to be a three or four man uh, size tent with a stove included. You know, you may, might be able to get up to six guys uh, in this tent uh, without a stove. But it's definitely a very roomy tent, 15 feet long. Uh, six foot ten at the highest point in the tent so for guys that are you know taller or if you want to have a chance to be able to stand up in your tent and change your clothes that kind of thing this tent's going to be your best bet it's a teepee type of shelter but it's not a pure teepee so it's got more of a, a hybrid so it's not round at the bottom it's kind of a rectangular shape so when you order this tent from us you're going to get it uh, the various parts and pieces that go with it uh, this is the canopy of the tent you're going to get a five section uh, carbon fiber center pole. The other pieces that you're going to get that come along with your tent are going to be uh, the stakes for it. So it's going to come with 12 uh, stakes. So these come with the uh, MSR Groundhog uh, stakes. And it's also going to come with a couple of tubes of seam grip sill, um, sill treatment. So it's a silicone treatment that you're going to use to uh, waterproof the seams in your tent. Uh, it doesn't come waterproofed. Uh, the, the tent itself is waterproof, but the seams need to be sealed. Uh, and that's a very easy process. We're just going to take a few minutes though and set this, this thing up and kind of show you how it works. It's very easy to set up. And it's a great tent. This is my personal tent. I've had it for a couple of years. Uh, my tent has the uh, guy out cords already installed, the guy out lines, and uh, I'll show you how those work. So, uh, a couple of tips when you store your tent. Um, you want to make sure that you close the zipper so the zippers are zipped up. Uh, that'll make it a little bit easier to find uh, where you're at and, and, and help you put it up. The other thing, when you store your tent, uh, if you store it, if it's dusty or dirty or wet, you want to get a chance to dry that out because if you don't, it can cause some damage to the tent, to the waterproof uh, treatment on, the, on the, out, the exterior of the tent. So this is obviously your center peak, your center point. Uh, from there, basically you just kind of want to throw it out. Once you kind of got it thrown out, it's pretty easy. So you've got the door here. You've got one other tie out loop and then the second. So once you find that second loop out from the door, you can go ahead and stake that in. You can go ahead and tap that in. And it doesn't have to be all the way in first, um, you know, from the get go. But after that, you're actually gonna, you know, stretch that out. You're gonna skip one tab. You're going to find the other corner tab, which again is two tabs in from the door on this side. I'm just going to dump those out. So, when you set your second uh, stake, you want to pull it out and you don't want to pull it completely taut or tight. You kind of want to pull it out and then let it rebound a little bit. Want to give yourself maybe a couple of inches just to, uh, when you set the center pole, uh, you'll have room to, to set it. So, once you find that, you're basically going to jump over to the other side, do the same thing. A couple of tabs out from that door. So, you've got one tab and then the door. And once again, that last corner, you're gonna find it, which once again is gonna be the two tabs in from the door. Now you have the basic structure of your tent set out. Uh, the Red Cliff has two doors, so that's kind of handy if you're hunting in a group. Each of you both have uh, an entrance uh, into the tent. So this is the carbon fiber center pole. Um, 
Obviously you have a bottom section here with some holes in it which is going to serve uh, to adjust the height of your pole depending on where you pitch your tent. You can use the different holes to get a nice top pitch. The other sections they come you know sleeved so basically you're going to slide those out and fit those together. So pretty quick you can see how that pole goes together uh, and your next step is going to be to, to put your pole in. Uh, really easily done you're just going to walk over and find one of the doors. You're going to unzip the door. You're going to find the center portion, which is this cone here of your tent. You're just basically going to run the pole up and into the center of your tent. And from there, you know, you can zip this back out and then you can start the guy out process. From there, you can start working the corners. Um, just for the sake of time, I'm gonna kind of show you real quick how the uh, guy outlines work. When you get your tent, it's gonna come up with some cord that you can use to tie those in. Basically, what that's gonna give you is an increased interior room because it's gonna pull that wall out away from your interior space. So that's the tent fully set up. Now one guy can do it in maybe eight or 10 minutes. It goes up really easy though. I mean, you can see it's just a basic structure. Um, canopy, you know, with some guy outlines and a, and a center pole. These tents also have a hoop vent. You wanna make sure that those are open so that you can get some air and some circulation inside the tent. It'll help with condensation, not building up on the inside. They have a wire, an internal wire on the inside of these. You wanna make sure to bend that out so that you get uh, as much clearance as you can for this vent. You want the tent to, to breathe um, and get some air to it. These both, these have a zipper, you know, dual zippers, doors on both sides. So on a clear night, in order to get a little more air, you know, you can use these doors. You can actually tie these back here to get a little bit more ventilation. Um, you can also pitch uh, the tent with a little bit of space between your, the ground and the tent itself to get some more air underneath. Uh, also where you pitch the tent has a lot to do with how much condensation that you might get in your tent. You know, you don't want to pitch it in a low spot. You don't want to pitch it next to uh, a creek or, or a river or someplace like that that has a lot of humidity built up. If you can find a nice dry spot, uh, it'll obviously cut down on the, the amount of condensation. So I'm just gonna tie the doors back and we'll give you a chance to see how much room there is actually on the inside of this thing. So you can easily fit you know, lengthwise, uh, widthwise. You know, you can see that's a you know full bivy sack. Uh, easily fit, you know, somebody six foot five or more. Um, we'll grab that other one, just throw it next to it. So you can see, uh, you know, with four guys, you know, you've got plenty of room for both guys. You've got plenty of room for your packs, uh, either at the head or the feet. Uh, you've got still room at the side that you can throw some gear. Equal room on this side of the tent. Uh, if you're running a stove, you're gonna end up sitting your stove here. You can easily sleep two more guys that way. Um, so it's, I mean, you can very easily accommodate uh, four guys and a stove. Uh, I would say without the stove, you know, you probably get three more here easy enough. And if you were to scoot these two to the bottom, you could possibly get one at the top. So I think realistically, you probably could get six guys in here if you wanted to. Um, more comfortably, you're gonna be able to get uh, four guys. You know, anything less than that, it's gonna be a palace. Let's get your stove jack. That's where your stove pipe's gonna come in. Uh, if you order a stove, you can order a couple different sizes. So they sell a medium uh, and a large titanium stove. For a shelter of this size, you probably want to go with a large. It's going to come with a seven and a half foot uh, length of titanium pipe. You just run that pipe right through that stove jack right there. Gives you the ability to just hunt later in the season.